Hello and welcome to the video on representing one number as a fraction of another. This is another video as part of our functional skills maths course at levels one and two. The learning outcome for this short video is to express one number as a fraction of another. The linked learning for this video is that we need to understand what a fraction is and how to simplify a fraction. So when we say 8 out of 10 cats prefer whiskers, then what we're doing is essentially creating a fraction where we have 8 out of 10 or 8 divided by 10 as a fraction represents. And then what we need to do, so that's the fractions element, is simplify. So if we simplify this and divide the top and the bottom by the same number, it becomes four fifths. So it's a combination of creating fractions and then simplifying. So to represent one number as a fraction of another, the first number or smaller number is your numerator and the second number, the larger number, becomes your denominator. So here, express 12 as a fraction of 20, then it would be 12 over 20. Now don't forget what we said earlier. Every time you create a fraction through adding or subtracting them, or creating a fraction as one number as a fraction of another, you have to look at simplifying it. So what number goes into 12 and 20? Well, they're both even, so I know they both divide by 2. Again, they're both even, so I can divide them both by 2 again. So 12 over 20 is the same fraction as 3 fifths. So express 12 as a fraction of 20 would be 3 fifths for all of the marks. This might get you one of the marks, but this is where the real marks are at, is the simplifying process. Okay, have a go at creating fractions from two numbers. As usual, give yourself more time by pressing pause. Otherwise, have a go at these three questions. And here come the answers. So we have 14 as a fraction of 21. So 14 over 21. Look at the two numbers and ask yourselves, is there a number that divides into 14 that also goes into 21? Yes, there is. It's 7. 7 goes into 14 twice. 7 goes into 21 three times. So simplified, 14 over 21 is 2 thirds. So you'd probably get one mark for this, and you'd get your second mark for simplifying to the lowest form. Let's look at the next question. Write 18 as a fraction of 22. So 18 as a fraction of 22. 18 our numerator, 22 our denominator. Can we simplify them? Well, yes, we can. They're both even, so I can do 9 over 11. Can we simplify this again? Well, not really, because 11 is a prime number and 9 doesn't go into 11. So 9 elevenths is your second mark. So one mark for your 18 over 22 and your second mark for simplifying. And finally, write 45 as a fraction of 70, giving the fraction in its simplest form. So we have 45 over 70. Now, because they end in fives and zeros, I know 5 divides into both of them. And 9 fives is 45. So how many times does 5 go into 70? Well, 5 goes into 7 once, remainder 2, and 5 goes into 20 four times. So it's 9 over 14. Is there a number that goes into 9 that also goes into 14? Well, no, there isn't. So in its simply form, simplest form, it's 9 over 14. So one mark for doing this, and the second mark for putting it into its simplest form. Here's a question from a practice paper. Have a go and see if you can come up with the correct answer. 
A college has a total of 120 math students. 18 of them are studying A-level maths. What fraction of college students are studying A-level maths? So it's 18 out of the 120. 18 out of 120. So that would get you one mark. We now need to simplify. So is there a number that goes into 18 that also goes into 120? Well, there must be. They're both even numbers. So divide both by 2 and I end up with 9 over 60. Is there a number that goes into 9 that also goes into 60? Well, 3 goes into 9 3 times and 3 goes into 60 20 times. Can we simplify it any more? Well, no, because... 3 is a prime number, 3 doesn't go into 20, and we can stop. So you'd get one mark for the 18 over 20, and your second mark for the simplest form of that fraction, which is 3 over 20. Another exam style question for you. Have a go, see if you can come up with the correct answer. So in a car park of 180 cars, 45 are made in Europe. The rest are made in Japan. What fraction of the cars are made in Europe? So we have the fraction 45 over 180. These are the two numbers we've been given. So the smaller number is the numerator, the larger number the denominator. So that would get you the one mark. As soon as you write a fraction down, it must come into your head, can I simplify? So, is there a number that goes into 45 and 180? Well, there is, because they end in 5 and 0, so they must be divisible by 5. So I know 5 goes into 45 9 times. But how many times does 5 go into 180? Well, 5 doesn't go into 1, but 5 goes into 18 3 times. And there's a remainder of 3. And 5 goes into 36 times. So you end up with 9 over 36. Again, I can see that both are divisible by 3. So I end up with 3 over 12. And if I simplify it again, because both are divisible by 3, I end up with 1 quarter. So in its simplest form, it's 1 quarter. Now notice you can take as many steps as you like to get to this simplest form. It really doesn't matter. So what fraction of the cars made in Europe? It's one quarter. And that completes this learning outcome, to express one number as a fraction of another. There are no buzzwords, and if you need more practice, please go to the Moodle site for the college and do your homework and work on the worksheets that are in there on this topic. I hope you enjoyed this video.